but honestly, yeah, exactly. I'll take whatever the heck he said to heart. Um, that's hilarious. What a strange coincidence. Uh, no one else who's watching is remotely interested in that, but I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy to know that. <laughs> Oh, so we to bring right. us into this one, the losers semi-finals. Don't want to be leaving here with fourth, and someone will be leaving here with the pleasure of playing Ashimo next. And it's uh, you know, it's Jupy, the man of the hour right now, who's been able to get his first combo starter against Umeki, and these edge guys are already swinging. Wow. Actually, okay. Well, okay. Advantage state the character so far. Oh no! Oh my God. Right. Bro. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, look, I didn't, I didn't tell him to do that. Uh, that, that, that's all him, actually. That wasn't, that wasn't my advice. <laughs> I thought Falco was supposed to prefer the air. I don't think he's preferring it after that one. Oh gosh, not when you're escorted up there by an up B from Daisy at tw like twenty percent after the hit. Yeah. That is maybe the worst case scenario, and this is just completely reversed. Oh, man. Shubi was just playing with that classic Falco flair, you know, at the start of this game. But it takes a little more than that to take sets of Umeki, truly the most stylish when it comes to this princess here. Able to use these floats in good spots, placing hitboxes where you need them. Will we see an edge guard here? But this wall dance, man. The, the, the wall jump from Shupi, it comes out clutch in most situations, but that jump from ledge, gonna get called out by Umeki now in a two stock lead. Yeah, 4D and up tilt doesn't lead to a back there. Good stuff from Umeki. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so scared, dude. He's already under, done it once with this save, and it's only the first game of the set. Like, uh, if he has that one on lock. Scary situations. God, I never would have expected oh. getting hit by Daisy at, at under 10% would have, would have caused a stock. So the fact that we were yeah. all so stressed about that. Oh, I mean that—that that is just uh, a testament to Umeki's character I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say. Oh, it's off stage. Okay, makes it back. Yeah, good angle there actually from Shupi, deciding to. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Oh, this is a complete reversal so far. Drag down. Yes. More dragging. Oh. oh okay. Oh. It's a foot stomp from clutch Umeki to get out of that combo situation. Lovely to find. I just want to jump out of that one. I don't know if that one was exactly intentional. Big swing. Ooh, nice, there nice, he nice. is. He's the edge guard king or queen, should I say. Uh, Umeki using the counter of Daisy just to keep Falco away from that leg. I will definitely say that the uh, the counter from Peach and Daisy definitely really doesn't seem like the, the best answer nine times out of 10, especially against, you know, characters like sword characters, for example, whose recovery just goes so fast through it that it almost just completely gets ignored. But for such a slow, albeit, you know, controllable recovery mm. that Falco has, uh, Peach's, uh, you know, like toad pollen or whatever that is, spores, uh, yeah. are just yeah. such an incredible uh, way of just countering um, any sort of offstage presence that Falco might have. And even without the counter, I feel like Umeki in his classic position that he loves to hold, just floating there at the ledge. When you put that against a species whose recovery is timed, he's just going to be able to hit that kind of edge guard every single situation. Just the fact that the counter is there, cool to use as well. You know, I feel like if it was a Nair, he'd be able to hit it. If it was a forward, he'd be able to hit it. But he went for the easier option, and I can you blame him? Yeah. I feel like Shupi is going to take that uh, that reversal in stock onto the grave. I, like honestly, that is something that I would never be able to forget. Like in this set, the yeah. next set, any other set that I play against any player, I'd be worried about being that high up. Like if if that's a possibility in losers uh, losers semis, I mean, where is it not possible? Mm. And it sucks that you force the Falco, the character who, yeah, indeed, does love to play around in the air, jump up into high into those blast zones, be able to hit co characters for combos like these ones that we see. Oh, okay. He's really trying to shark here. To put that fear in him, that there's the possibility that if I hit you with a down air and then I'll be at this situation, your stocks are going to be gone. To put that fear into your opponent is something that is, uh, is very valuable, but obviously not going uh, anywhere into the mind of Shupi right now. He's still playing with the exact same speed and the exact same uh, flair that he did in that first game before that situation happened. So good for him to keep that mental intact. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, without, uh, without the really early stock uh, that Umeki did take... Oh, oh my god. Okay. Yeah, without that super early stock that Umeki took in game one, um, it did actually come down relatively to the wire. Um, so I think, yeah, now that, uh, now that you know, for want of a better term, the cheese is kind of out of the way. 
Um, uh, this is now a, a pretty decent uh, set for Shuka to keep competitive. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Oh. Reverse up top. Just starting oh, yeah. here, but it is Umeki finding uh, and yeah, honestly such a well a good decision to use that up smash out of the shield yeah, you know, yeah, should yeah. be wanting to put on a lot of multi-hit pressure just outside the reach of your shield that up smash gonna be able to hit it if he's spacing not quite correctly so beautiful option select there from you to take that first stock you still have two more to go though but we see a combo start with this down or no just gonna go straight through it with the illusion actually oh yeah finally pairing that back here that's been really used in neutral from Mimeki, but no punish the cross up as well i think it, it's just you've got so many mix-ups i think with landing aerials as uh, as daisy especially when you've got things like floats um you've got like the you know the short hop the full hop um you know or like auto cancelling everything like that um it's so hard and even the cross-ups too oh my god and then when they all come together in perfect harmony you've got that insane combo wow. the down tilt you've got to be scooping up into that massive crown hit Dude, choirs are singing, the harmonies is there, Umeki cooking on this shield right now, and has a tournament in hand. It's the most scary position to be in as an opponent against Umeki. The Princess of Sarasaland is no joke. Ooh. Ooh, getting caught yet again! Uh, yeah, good awareness there from, uh, from Shupi, but only going to be taking the stock just there. 60% deficit. The world is always the most. Go all the way back. Ooh, <laughs> right. That's a quick reminder. Uh, hey, remember this move? Yeah, don't get too big. <laughs> this one. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, no jump. Oh, oh, oh come on, Mexi. Oh, through the turn. I mean, we all know you're not that. You're not that guy to go that deep if you really want what to. The? Really wanting the yeah, side yeah, yeah. to work, man. Done it twice now, but Sufi not gonna get hit with it either time. Has your chance to build this percent Ooh. back. Will we take stock first though? <gasps> oh, oh my God. Edgeguarding oh, is finally working out for Shuki. Man. It's perfectly lined up, and I'd love to point out that that air dodge that he does, it's not its not the first time he's been doing it. It wasn't because he was scared of a hit. He uses it as a way to set up or himself off stage. I don't exactly know why, per se, that neutral air dodge always comes out, but I've seen it a lot from him, and then finally we see it come to fruition here, just that neutral air dodge to kind of avoid if Umeki was going to do a, uh, some sort of swing in that situation, able to just immediately jump down there afterwards. It's like, it's, yeah. that, it's that, bit of, that bit of burst. It's almost like a burst option in the air that he's been able to show there. Off of that air yeah, yeah, yeah. And finding that down air too as well. The control of Falco in the air is nothing to shrug at whatsoever. Um, yeah, no, I think yeah, the the answer of you know recognizing that Umeki was potentially going to at least get aggressive somehow. Whoa, hang on. Also recognize that we're going to go for a roll and getting three up airs for it. <laughs> Beautiful. No, don't go up there. Okay, we saw the down airs, the floating the whole time. Do not go up there. Yeah. Worst yeah, mistake yeah. you'll ever make. <laughs> Like everyone in the everyone in this uh, this has suffered more PTSD from that one conversion than Supi has because he's still playing like a man possessed right now, able to put this ledge trap onto Umeki, but just getting past it with a roll and immediate side B Umeki cooking off the ledge right now. Will we see an edge guard? This is your position, but a nice little wall jump to get back to the stage. supi has been so beautiful with him. Oh my God, so many arrows from Umeki. Shield pressure is kind of working out well. Falco doesn't have amazing options out of shield. Nair hits too high. Mm -hmm. Or ledge trump from the float. That's again such a nice little mix up. You've got so many just small micro movements that uh that Daisy has. But again, look at that pressure all on shield to land with the forward air after all that. Back air probably gonna set up into a pretty decent setup. No, wow, no. Oh, the, run the what, taking the first stock? That's crazy. <laughs> How did Shubi wow. find Shubi's raw? Rosama. He keeps this set a rockin'. Not going to let Umeki take a lead oh. in any form, and now it's our turn to build our own with yeah. these up tilts. Not able to convert into a full oh. combo, they're only gonna get 13 off of those. Yeah, oh, shield. Right, spot dodge. Nice. Uh oh. 32%. Yeah. yeah, okay. Not really too much rage to speak of. I, as far as I'm aware, I think rage is only really gonna start to come into effect past about 35% or so. Yeah. Um, until then. Oh, hang on. This is perfect 0% combo. <laughs> okay, that was very close. Falco, the fast follow, kind of making us happy. Miss, but guess the zero to death, anyways. Wow. Jeez. Oh, oh no. <laughs>
And he's done, man. You could feel as soon as he got that turnip in hand, the entire crowd just lit up. They knew yeah. that Umeki's about to cook. It's what makes him one of the best of this character oh in God, the world. Bro. As soon as he gets it. Do not get hit by this. Honestly, surprised it was techable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> Actually true. Wow. That went downhill for Shippy very fast. Got the I first knock with him. Akikutsu from the bracket. Why is RNG still a thing in my top four? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's true, man. Come on. <laughs> I, mean, I think, honestly, on. starting starting game one with that reversal from the up B and then ending game three with a, you know, almost a zero to death into a stitch pull. Um, man, I don't know. I think, look, Shupi is going through the ringer right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Somehow um, the set's still going too. Absolutely. On, yeah. board. Uh, on and off has definitely felt very close, but uh, you know, in in a game of uh, advantage states, I mean, it really is just going to be whoever gets the first opening to, you know, take the entire stock. Um, and uh, I mean, in this case, Shupi is at least controlling this space pretty well. But oh, great, uh, great spot dodge there. The micro from Umeki. Coming out in clutch. Mm. He's shown time and time again that he knows what to do, like in the disadvantage state against Falco. Yeah, you're going to take a lot of percent, but oh, it's almost guaranteed oh, from this guy. Bad, but but that was Burnley sick. was not committing fully to that stock. Unfortunate situation to find yourself in, but a trade is, a, is about as good as you're going to get as soon as Umeki hit that edge guard on you. Yeah. Or hit the reversal edge guard on you, should I say. Oh, a bit of a poor oh, roll in, triple back here. Throwing it back like he likes to do. Umeki building up these percents in the early. Has a turnip out of the shield as well. You do not want to be doing that forward air on the shield. Umeki not able to punish it there, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting down to choice out of the pair there. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh man. Yeah, really switch. interesting down there. No There's no way. way bro. Drop it. Hit him. Drop it. No, no, he's oh, 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 Mayday, mayday. Oh, no, 81. That's not how you want to see. I mean, this is potentially his last stock of the entire tournament, and you're up against Umeki. He's hitting his combo. He has a turn up in his hand. One more oh, swing. Oh, my word, bro. That's going to be it. Jeez. Uh, should be throwing their head back in just oh, anguish for want of a yeah. better term what on earth what's a guy to do what is a guy to do in a situation like that so stressful yeah. there you go nonetheless umeki just flexing into the camera showing off the shirt saying yeah that was me yeah i did that yes sir oh gosh the bicep kind of popping out the shirt i mean have you seen the size of those turnips like those. yeah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> As can, you, can you imagine this, the like the upper body strength you'd need to pull out a turnip of that size from the earth? Yeah, are you kidding oh, me? Yeah. That is that is upheaval yeah. right there. No, he's out of here. He thinks mm -hmm. the tournament's over or something. <laughs> What's like, I won against Shupi, the best player in the room, and now it's uh, we're done. Let's go. Yeah, but I'm probably just taking a quick little break before he has to fight up. Again.